Hey folks, GW Prepper here. Today, I have started off thinking about building me a rocket stove for the first time. I built all kinds of other stoves, but never built a rocket stove. Um, I figured I was going to give this a whirl. I started off, I believe this is six inch, six inch pipe that I'm going to put together. And it's all galvanized. Um, galvanized trash can, real, real solid can. It's got a lid too. What I'm hoping to do is, when I create this, this, this piece right here is going to sit down below, and I'm going to put a grate across the top. And then, when I'm not using it, I can just put the lid on it, leave it sitting on the front porch, and look like a regular trash can, and just turn it around to the back and. Nobody would ever know it was a it was a rocket stove, but that's what we're going to be doing over the next few days. I still got to figure out what I want to fill the inside with, either sand or vermiculite. I don't I don't know, but uh, we'll just see how it turns out and throw a few test burns in once I get it done. And we'll see where it goes, but this is this is uh, the start, and I just want to let everybody know what was getting ready to happen. Thanks, guys. Oh, it's May sixth. What's up YouTube, GW Prepper here again. Um, I just wanted to show real quick, just roughing this new rocket stove out I'm building. You can kind of see right there where I've got a piece of metal going in there. That's just a piece of the tubing I cut off the end and, and straightened it out. It'd be good enough to give me my little airflow underneath. And on the inside, I've got this tube right here. And I'm going to fasten this all with JB Weld, I think, so that it'll be uh, airtight. All the way up and I've got this tube is cut down probably about four inches which is is the distance from here to here I wanted to have a little space so I could put a grate across the top and actually uh, try a couple of other experiments out once once I get it finished but um, hopefully in the next day or so I will be able to uh, get some, get something to put in here, probably vermiculite, and get it all insulated up and give it a test burn, see what happens. Okay, GW Prepper out. What's up, folks? GW Prepper here. We're doing a test burn with no insulation just to kind of see what it does. And it's kicking pretty good. Got plenty of room down here. I was looking for insulation, but uh, the store didn't have any of the vermiculite or whatever it's called. So I'm probably going to have to order something online. But I can tell you right now, this thing's kicking pretty good. So I'll keep you updated. GW Prepper out. Okay, folks, GW Prepper here again. I have put some JB Weld in here to hold all my vital areas together. And also some out here on the outside. I am not proud of my JB Well job. But all I need to do is make it hold. And since I don't have anything else to hold this thing in place, I found some zip ties. And I was able to use a measuring tape. I was able to measure six inches for all the uh, measurements so I know that it's centered. And according to the JB Weld, it'll probably be tomorrow before I can do anything with it. But um, I'm hoping to be able to do some sort of test burn tomorrow. And uh, anyways, I was talking about the zip ties. Uh, didn't have anything to hold it in place. I had some rope, but it was just too hard to adjust. So I thought I'd get these zip ties out. And for me to just put it in place, all I had to do is just pull the zip tie just a touch to maneuver to the position I wanted to keep it in place and it worked perfect. So maybe that'll give somebody an idea for something anyways. Anyways, uh, this is GW Trapper. Just wanted to give you a, a quick update and hopefully tomorrow we'll do a burn. GW Prepper out. 